I have written here download Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. It, there is a link here to download the older versions of 2019, 2017 and so on. I am installing Visual Studio 2019. Although 22 is available, the reason is that when I was creating SQL Server reporting projects using Visual Studio 2022, the reports were not proper. The time when I was working, the time when I was working with the 2022 version, during that time the reporting projects were not working fine. But it works fine in 2019, so I am choosing 2019 version. Also, in 2022, data mining was not present so they have uh, removed in 2022 but sometimes i need this data mining also so that is why i am installing 2019 but if you do not need to work with uh, reporting projects and uh, you don't need data mining features you may go for uh, 2022 version as well so whether you install uh, 2019 or 2022 you just need to download this community edition and uh, install as I am installing 2019 version. So I click on this 2019. So here it's a uh, 2019 and I click on this download button. So it takes me uh, to a different uh, link and uh, it's uh, from the visualstudio.com and uh, here you see there are a lot of Visual Studio available, but I will download this community edition. I click on download. So it is started downloading. I click on this. Now I will click on this Visual Studio community. Double click on that. And click yes. I click on continue. So it is uh, downloading and installing the Visual Studio. It will take some time. And uh, after that, you see the option which you have to choose is Data Storage and Processing. Under the Workloads, go to Other tool set and uh, check this option data storage and processing and uh, here you see on the right hand side it, it will be going to download some optional data tools so that's fine I click on install so it will take some time to install and uh, I will further continue once the installation is done now I am not signing in, so I just say not now, maybe later. It is asking uh, the color theme and uh, you can start the Visual Studio now. So it takes some time. Now you see Visual Studio 2019 is opened and uh, what I will do, I will go to continue without code. If you do not see this Visual Studio 2019, what you can do, you can directly type here Visual Studio 2019 and click here, then you will get this kind of window. So what you have to do now, you have to click on continue without code. Once you click on continue without code, here you see if you do file, new, project, you will not see any project like analysis services project reporting project integration project suppose i type analysis so there is no analysis project over here so what i have to do i will first need to go to extension and click on manage extension and here there is visual studio marketplace and here you see i will be going to download analysis services from here so i will go to search and type analysis so when i will type analysis so here you see i have microsoft analysis services project i will click on download so you see it has started downloading it similarly you type integration and download integration uh, microsoft integration services projects and reporting also you can 
download in the same way so right now i am downloading this analysis services so after downloading and installing you can create the analysis services projects so it will take some time so once it is downloaded then i will uh, resume this video i have downloaded this analysis services after that i am getting one option here your changes will be scheduled your the modification will begin when all the microsoft visual studio are closed so automatically when i close everything then this will start installing the analysis services extension into the visual studio now i will close visual studio and uh, after that installation will happen of uh, analysis services extension so i close this and close this visual studio and uh, close that as well so you see it has started doing the installation of analysis services project extension so it will take some time to initialize it will also ask do you want uh, this particular application to make some changes so you say yes and uh, allow this application to make some changes now you just click on modify then it will start uh, doing the installation now it is uh, modifying the existing visual studio and installing microsoft analysis services project inside this community as an extension so now we have to wait until this is completely done it will take some it will take few minutes to install so here the modification has been completed the installation of analysis services projects extension has been completed so i have to restart the application so that uh, the changes will take into effect so i just click close now and i have to restart the visual studio and then you see you will be able to see the analysis services application so now you see i have uh, restarted it and after restarting you i go to start and uh, open this visual studio and now you see i will be going to check the extension whether analysis services projects has been installed or not now you see uh, if i do continue without code and uh, again do file new project so i do file new project you see here analysis services tabular model is visible you can import from the analysis server tabular model you can import from power pivot and there are many other options i need multi dimensional one so i will type multi dimensional so here when i type multi dim so analysis service multi dimensional is available then you can click next so this is multi dimensional project 1 and uh, you can click on create so you see your uh, multi dimensional project will be created so you see analysis services project creation options are now available now you can create data source data source view cube etc from here now you see i will also install reporting services project extension into the visual studio so what i will do i will again go to start and type visual studio i click on this visual studio i will do continue without code i go to file new project and uh, if i do reporting so so there is no reporting project details right now so what i do i go to extension do the manage extension and uh, here you see i will search for reporting and uh, here you see i will get microsoft reporting services i will click on download so now it will take some time to download once it is downloaded then i will further continue 
so after downloading it is saying your changes will be scheduled and uh, the modification will begin when the microsoft visual studio windows are closed so i will close this and uh, close this visual studio and uh, automatically one window will appear it will do the installation of reporting services so we just need to wait so after this you need to click on the modify when you click on modify then it will install reporting services projects as an extension into this visual studio community 2019 so click on modify now you see it will be going to install the reporting services projects as an extension into this visual studio community so we have to wait it will be installed and then you have to just restart your computer then your reporting services projects will be available in the visual studio so i wait until this is uh, completely installed so you see installation of reporting services is done you have to restart the window operating system to take all these into effect so what you have to do you click close and go to start and uh, just click on this restart button then next time when you open visual studio when you do file new project you will be able to create reporting services projects so i just need to click on restart here now you see i will start visual studio i click on visual studio and now i will be going to check whether i will be able to create reporting services projects or not so i can do create a new project here you see i will be going to type reporting i will just type report here and uh, you see i am able to see the reporting projects here so i will click on report server project and click next and i can create the report project from here. so i click create so using visual studio i will be able to create the reporting project so here you are getting all the options like share data source data set and the toolbox so if i do add new item click on the report so here you see i will be going to see all the tools for generating the report. now you see i will be going to install integration services projects within visual studio so what i will do i will go to start and type visual studio i click on continue without code and after that if i go to file new project and if i type integration here i don't see any option here there is no match found so i click close and uh, i will go to extension and do the manage extension and uh, here you see i will install integration services it is available here sql server integration services project otherwise you can just type integration here and uh, you see it's coming on the top now and uh, you can uh, click on download so you see it is uh, starting downloading microsoft data tools for integration services so we have to wait until a download is completed so here the download is completed what i will do i will go to the download folder and uh, here you see this microsoft data tools integration services has been downloaded so what i will do i will just uh, double click on that so it is saying please select the language i hit english i hit okay and uh, it is saying welcome i just click next and it is saying to install this product to the community edition so what i will do uh, before installing it is better to close this uh, visual studio so that it will not create any problem so i just close this visual studio at the moment uh, 
now you see the visual studio is closed so uh, it's fine now i can go for the installation i click so it is also saying please close the following processes so i think i have already closed it although i have closed visual studio but it is still giving me the error message so what i will do i just close this and again open this installation uh, because i have already closed this visual studio so i close this and i again uh, open this uh, setup double click on that i hit okay and click next and click install this time uh, it is not giving any kind of error because i already closed the visual studio and uh, it is now installing sql server integration project so i have to wait until it is uh, completely installed now you see this setup has been completed so i click close and uh, i open this visual studio and uh, if i create a new project and i will check whether integration is uh, available in the project template now or not so if i type integration here so so yes this integration project exists and i can click next and you see i can now create this integration project sometimes it may ask for the restart so if by chance this integration project is still not uh, visible you just uh, restart the computer and uh, after that you see uh, this project will be visible but right now i don't need to restart it it is uh, visible without restart so you see this uh, integration project one is visible and you can now create your packages